don't get dragged into negative uh, media. Um, this is all part of don't let things you can't change influence your life. Immigration, for example, is a hotbed in many countries at the moment, but it's an irrelevant one. The reason it's drummed up in the media so much is immigration, like with the Nazis and the Jews, it focuses people on one thing to blame it for everything. Which also means the people that are the problem get ignored. Um, the UK, we're finding it's corrupt, riddled with corruption. The government's notoriously corrupt these days. MPs are disconnected from reality. They assume they can do all this stuff and get away with it. Um, rising housing market, big problem for first time buyers. Uh, but it's a problem that's a bubble that will eventually burst and go way out of control. Uh, rising unemployment, another major problem. But it can't be fixed because society is based on not fixing it. Because capitalism is about cost reduction, not work generation. Um, next one is tied with that, which is poor investment in people causes high unemployment. So we've got a large amount of population that have no skills. Um, I know from myself in the engineering sector, there's lots of engineering jobs. But there's hardly anybody to fill them. It's very difficult to recruit people because there's a shortage of skilled people. Um, all these things and many more hide behind immigration in the media. Immigration just go, it's their fault. Um, these guys come in from Syria at the moment. I question how many of them are really from Syria. There's even been a thing on a news story where the, the clips they're using and the photos were from different things from different years. They weren't even from that, um, what's going on. They've been taken, just basically uh, grabbing photos of, oh, can you give me, give me a load of people in the boat? This is the state of the media. Now, these negative things are designed to, like I said, change people's focus from the reality. And the reason I don't read newspapers anymore is because it's full of this crap. Um, doesn't mean I'm ill-informed because I spend more, more time actually getting real information. I spend more time looking at the stuff that's important. Um, I don't just take anything at face value because most of the time these days we're being lied to. But I don't let it interfere with my day-to-day -day life. Um, I don't look at the immigration issue because quite simply it's not an issue. The numbers may be huge at the moment, according to what they make up. But at the same time, where's the issue? Syria, other countries, corruption in other countries. Um, a lot of these people aren't from war zones. They're from corrupt regimes. Um, and the only way to stop those is stop corruption in those countries, which often our governments subsidize. So you can see, you're not going to fix it. So don't get annoyed about it, don't. Just push it to one side, and that's what I do. I just ditch it. I just like, not interested. Um, the reason for this, it makes you much happier, but also because you're not buying into any of this stuff you're being sold, you can see things from a bit, another perspective. Um, you start to see the, how things interlink, um, especially if you move around a lot and travel a lot, you start to see that uh, Nestle, for example, how much influence they have in Asia. Um, not that it's something I can fix, but I don't take a view on it. Um, I don't get angry about it. I just see it for what it is. Um, I disconnect myself from it. And the reason I say do this stuff is I know a lot of people get angry over, oh, the bloody immigrants and all this what difference is it making in your life? The actual answer is nothing. Lower quality of life is making a difference in your life, and nobody even discusses that. So, disconnect yourself from it all. If you, if you, you find news winds you up, don't watch it. Most of it's trash these days anyway. I want to say news, I'm talking about the mass media stuff. If you decide to go and research something that you're actually interested in, that's very different. Um, 
but the whole point with this is I know there's a lot of angry people out there that are angry for stuff that has been done to make them angry in the first place. It's completely irrelevant. Um, a, it's irrelevant because it's not the real problem, but B, it's only done to make you angry in the first place and move your focus from more important things. Um, which, if it's more important elsewhere, you might as well not even be discussing the media whatsoever and uh, learn how to fly or something else, using your time for something more productive. Um, it may sound the um, a bit odd that I'm actually saying just forget all the media and just throw it in the bin, um, but the fact is it's got that useless that your time is better served elsewhere. Um, they're not asking you to engage with it. All they're trying to do is change the focus so you don't ask any questions. So if they're doing that and they're going to stop you getting the right information in the first place, you might as well not read what they want you to hear. Alright, thanks for watching.